what if we have the headshot of this woman and then we have an image of our own product, let's say a perfume bottle like this one. How can we combine both these images and form a real looking testimonial video commercial like this one? This is the part where I say something amazing about this perfume mm. and then you hopefully get impressed and we take your money. Cheers. So this process will involve five different steps. We're going to start off by creating that consistent image from the headshot of the woman either inside ideogram character which was just released a few weeks back or hicks field character which was also released a few weeks back these two are competitors and whichever whichever of these tools gives us the best image we're going to proceed with that to the next step which is going to be upscaling this image inside enhancer ai to get rid of that ai look and make it look like a proper photograph then we're going to use ideogram's magic fill to replace the product with our own product once everything is ready, we turn this into a video inside VO3. And finally, I'll be showing you a tool that you can use to upscale the VO3 video to 4K. And you will be able to use this at least once completely for free and that too without any watermark. So let's get started. The links to all the tools as well as the images that I'm using have been given in the description so you will be able to work along with me. Everything starts off of course with chat GPT where I just uploaded both these images and I just typed in something like give me a prompt to create an image where this woman is sitting on a couch wearing a blazer, leather boots and holding a perfume bottle in the second image. You can describe this scene in any way that you want but after that chat GPT gave me this prompt which also I have left in the description in case you want to create an image like this. I also, just to test things out, created an image inside ChatGPT using this very prompt and this was the result that I got. Not a bad looking image, but one of the problems which is very well known with OpenAI is that they're not going to keep the face consistent because of all the legal issues. So the question is, how do we do this now? So we're going to be using two tools. One is a brand new tool by Ideogram, which is called Character. The best part is you can use Character up to 10 times even on the free account. But one of its competitors is Hicksfield Character. And this is something I've shown in this video in the past. So if you haven't seen that, you can check it out later. I will leave the link to that in the description. Whichever of these tools gives us the best image, we're going to proceed to the next step with it. So how do we get started with this? We're going to start off with ideogram character first. It's very, very easy to use. So once you create your ideogram account, you're going to see character here on the left. So I'm just going to click on this. You simply upload the photograph, in this case, the portrait of this woman. Once our image is ready, we are simply going to paste in the prompt from ChatGPT. Make sure you select the 16 by 9 aspect ratio because ultimately we have to turn this into a video in VO3. And you can leave everything as it is. We're going to hit generate. Till the time this is happening, we are going to go over to Higgs field and do the same thing. It just works in a slightly different way. The character feature will ask you to first of all create a character and then once it's got trained on the images that you have used to create that character you will be able to use the character right here. You can even use one image. So here I've just created the character with that single image. Like I said for more details you can check out the video that I had talked about earlier but it's pretty much the same thing. I've put in exactly that same prompt that we got from ChatGPT and I'm using the realistic uh, filter just so that the image is as real as possible. We are using the Higgsfield Soul generator which is really nice. Again we are going to select 16 is to 9 and here also we will hit generate. Let's go back to ideogram and our images must be ready so you can see some of these images look really nice. Let me just open this up and you can see if we just compare the consistency this is exactly that same woman. You can see Everything looks good. Obviously right now the problem that we are going to face as you can see in some of these images is that this jacket might not exactly be the same thing because it's coming off from a text prompt. We will change that in the next step. So are the boots and of course so is the product. We will change all of this but right now let's head back to Higgsfield AI and let's see the images here. As you can see similar looking images but when it comes to the realism I just find Ideogram's character to be much superior. Let's download the best of these four images in each of the platform and let's compare it side by side to select the winner. So here is a side by side comparison. 
I think the winner is very clear because remember realism is a big part of selecting the winner here. The ideogram image pretty much already looks like a photograph. This has that AI look even though the consistency was pretty good. The colors are slightly better in this, it's more saturated but that's not a problem. We can use any editing software even in this to correct that. The main issue is this. We can even get a better look at this by just seeing the slider view. You can see this has that AI look, whereas ideogram image is much superior. So now that we have our winning image, we're gonna take this over to Enhancer AI and upscale it so that it looks even more real than it is now. Of course, we do wanna replace the product, but we'll do that after upscaling because sometimes these strong upscalers can change the design on the product and then we'll have to do the product placement part all over again. So it's always better to do it after upscaling. So Enhancer AI is not free, it's gonna cost you $9 a month, but it's the best at getting rid of that AI look and making it look like a real photograph. However, I will still leave a link to a free AI upscaler that I really like a lot, and you can use that also at this stage. However, the results are not gonna be as good as Enhancer. So once I log into Enhancer, I'm simply gonna go over to Upscaler, upload my own photograph here, and then make sure that you select this option that says, yes, my image is a portrait, that makes sure that when Enhancer upscales it, it doesn't really change the face too much. It's gonna cost me 300 credits. And once this is done, let's compare the before and after. Image is ready. If I just expand this, this is what we started off with and just have a look at this. That literally makes it look like a proper photograph, even though the result from ideogram already was so amazing. Just a very slight change in the face, but as long as she looks like the woman in the headshot, I think we are good to go because overall, this is just absolutely fantastic. So now it's time to move on to the next step where we need to replace our own product in that image. Now for this, I'm gonna be showing you a lot of different alternatives after I have done the job with Ideogram's Magic Fill because you are gonna realize Magic Fill has one advantage over the other tools. So in Ideogram, I'm gonna go over to Canvas. And then on this blank canvas, I have to upload both my image that I got from Enhancer as well as the image of the perfume bottle. However, at this point, you should know that in order to use this feature, you need to be on the $20 per month Ideogram plan. This feature is not available even on the first uh, nine to $10 per month plan. Therefore, I will be talking about some cheaper and even free alternatives to this after we've done the replacement. So once I have both these images, the first thing that I need to do is, I can just move this around and resize this so that both these images are of a similar size and place them right next to each other. So that is the first requirement. Then you can hit magic fill and we just need to draw our mask so I can either brush over things or I can use the lasso mask tool and just simply select this area where the product will come. And then we hit next and this is an important part because now in this prompt area, we need to give it as much context as possible so that the replacement is seamless. What we need to write here is on the left and then describe this bottle and then on the right and describe this image. So we can use a tool for this. And that tool is this website called imageprompt.org. Here I can go over to image to prompt and then I can upload the image of this perfume bottle right here and then simply hit generate prompt. So this will give us a whole paragraph which describes this bottle in detail. I can copy this, go back here and I can say on the left is and just paste this. And then for the right part, you don't really have to describe the image too much. So I can just say on the right is a woman holding a perfume bottle. So we are all set, but one step which a lot of people miss out on is that there's this magic fill grid that you get. You have to move it around in such a way that it encompasses both the product as well as the mask here. Okay, so see here. And also make it as small as possible. That's because the image that will be generated inside this area is gonna be of a fixed resolution and the smaller this pink grid that you see is, the sharper this image. So just make it as small as possible, you can see. And now just hit magic fill and just like magic, in a few seconds we'll see this bottle come right here.
All right, you can see that this is almost done and you can see that looks absolutely fantastic. You also get different variations of this. So if you just hover over this area, you'll again see that grid. And now if you click on it and open the side tab, you can see all the variations. This is the first one, this is the second one. I think this looks even better and you can see how real the lighting looks on it. I think the second result is definitely the best. So we can proceed ahead with this one. Now, before I go on to the next step, let me just talk about some of the alternatives to do this. So one of the alternatives that I've shown before in uh, one of my videos is Hicks Field Canvas. If you haven't seen that video, you can check out this one. I'll leave the link to this in the description. Another option that you have if you want to do things completely for free, at least for the first eight edits, then you can use OpenAI's editor, which I have shown in this video. Now, one of the problems with both Hicks Field and OpenAI when you do this is that when you do download the image, they do downscale the image a bit and therefore that can just undo all the good work that Enhancer AI did when you upscale the image. Now you might say, Kush, then why can't we replace the bottle first, then enhance an upscaler? But remember, I already talked about that problem that sometimes Enhancer during the upscaling process can then change, for example, this uh, logo that you see on the product. In Ideogram, as you're gonna see once I go over to download, we are able to download the image in its full size. So that is one advantage that Magic Fill has over other options. The second thing that I wanna talk about is, in this case, it was just a simple product. But what if you wanna replace clothes, especially clothes that have intricate patterns? Then even Magic Fill doesn't do a very good job when it comes to consistency, and the only one that can do that job is Seller Pick AI, and that is something I have shown in this video where I actually compared Seller Pick AI with Magic Fill when it comes to replacing clothes which have complex designs or patterns. But do note that Seller Pick is slightly expensive, but it is definitely the best when it comes to maintaining consistency in tough objects. Now it's time to download this image so that we can move on to the next step. And this was the part I was talking about. If I go over to the download button, I can simply move this grid and then I don't have to really compromise on the size of the image because now if I hit download, you can see I get the full resolution image. So once I download this, it's time to move on to the VO3 step. So these days you can create these VO3 videos in a lot of different places. I'm gonna use Hicksfield AI because I'm already a paid member here. In case you wanna use VO3 completely for free for 30 days, then I have shown that in this video where you can access the Gemini app or the Google Flow app for 30 days completely for free using the Google AI Pro plan. So you can check that video out later. I'll leave the link to that also in the description. Right now I'm gonna go over in Hicks field to create, then to video. I've already done this, so I'm just directly gonna show you the result. I simply uploaded the image that we just created right here. And then for the prompt, I went over back to ChatGPT. And here I just uploaded this image and I just talked to ChatGPT using the dictate option here, which is great because you wanna give it as much context as possible instead of just writing out the prompt, which can take a lot of time. I told ChatGPT that you know in the video, she should have a sarcastic and a playful tone. Uh, what is it that she should be saying and all these things. And basically ChatGPT then gave me out this detailed prompt, which I copied went back to Hicks field. I pasted that prompt right here. Also one very important thing before you hit generate, uh, in the model, I had the option of either using Google VO3 fast or Google VO3 quality. I did a lot of testing as I have been doing for quite some time and I haven't noticed any difference in VO3 fast and VO3, even though VO3 fast is the light version of VO3. In some cases, I've actually seen that VO3 fast produces better vi videos than VO3 quality, even though if I was to select this, this almost costs double the amount of credits on Higgs field and even inside other apps. So I used VO3 fast, it also saved me a lot of credits. And finally, this was the result that I got. This is the part where I say something amazing about this perfume, mm. and then you hopefully get impressed and we take your money. And then finally, we move on to the last step, which is completely optional, but I wanted to upscale this video to 4K. So to do this, I'm using the Topaz Labs 4K video upscaler that you can use for free for at least 20 seconds of video and download the video even without any sort of a watermark. I'll leave the link to this in the description. You're gonna hit get started free and then just create your account and log in. 
And once you do that, you're going to get 20 credits here. You can see I've already utilized eight of them, but it's very simple. We basically upload the video right here. And that's it. You just hit this option that says upscale to 4K. And then it takes around five minutes for this to come. So let's see the final result. This is the part where I say something amazing about this perfume. Mm. And then you hopefully get impressed and we take your money. Cheers. So one of the takeaways from this video is that Ideogram's new character tool is absolutely amazing when it comes to creating these consistent images, especially from a realism point of view. There are a lot of different AI video tools out there which claim that you can put all these images together, write a simple prompt and then get a result with those consistent elements. One of those is Kling Elements and the video that you are seeing in front of you was created like that and you can see that most of the times it's just not gonna work and it'll produce very poor looking results like this one. One of the things that we are looking forward to which can solve this problem in one go is Google's ingredients feature which was up till now available only for VO3 but they are soon planning to incorporate the VO3 model for that and hopefully that will allow us to do it in one go. Whenever that happens, I will be here to review it. In case this video helped you out, do give it a like. And for more AI editing tutorials like this one, make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.